Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about a numerical on a swing equation. So let us consider a numerical. A 2 pole 50 Hz 11 kV turbo alternator has a rating of 100 Vita. So simultaneously, after reading the each sentence, I will write a given data. So first what we have given number of poles that is P equal to 2. Then it has a rating of 100 megawatt which is mentioned. Then the power factor has been given which is 0 0.85 lagging. So I will write it here cos phi will be equal to 0 0.85 lagging. Now the rotor has a moment of inertia 10,000 kilogram meter square. What value we have given? Rotor moment of inertia means Z it is given 10,000 kilogram meter square. We have to find it out what is the value of h and what is the value of m. m is angular momentum, h is nothing but inertia constant. Now here what is the frequency, frequency is also to be given, f will be equal to it is 50 hertz. So let's see, now we know that what is s, s equal to v into i, s is nothing but it is in mv. So therefore, what we can write here S in MVA or you can say it is rating of the generator that is G which will be equal to V into I. So now how I will write it? I know P will be equal to what? P equal to V into I into cos phi. In place of this V into I, I can put it here S also. So what it will be? S into cos phi. So how I can write from this I can write S will be equal to MVA will be equal to P divided by cos phi. What is the value of P which is given here? The value of P is given is nothing but 100 megawatt. The rating of turbo alternator has been given as 100 megawatt. So it will be your 100 and the cos phi value has been given power factor which is 0.85. So if we do this uh, calculation. S will be equal to what? 100 divided by 0 0.85. Then we will get answer as, I will write it here as S or you can say it is G also. I can say this is nothing but your rating of the machine. So if you do a calculation, you will get answer as 117.65 MBA. So this is the first step. What we did here? We have used here a basic formula. Basic formula is what? S equal to Vi and we know that um, uh, P equal to Vi into cos phi. Now we know what is the kinetic energy stored in the rotor. What is the formula? Kinetic energy equal to half into J into omega S square. That is half into J. Omega S is nothing but what? It is 2 pi F bracket square. So now just substitute all the values, whatever values we have given in the numerical. Uh, I will write it here half j is nothing but it is 10,000 and into 2 pi and f is 50 square. So if you calculate this answer, you will get answer for the kinetic energy of the rotor which comes out to be 493.48 into 10 raised to 6 joules 10 raised to 6 joules or if you want to write answer in mega joule then it will be 493.48 mega joule so this will be answer for the kinetic energy of the rotor but it is expected to find it out value of h and m so how i will write a formula for h you know that already we have studied this in the derivation kinetic energy will be equal to G into H. So from that I can write H will be equal to kinetic energy upon G. So what is your answer for kinetic energy? It is 493.48 and G is nothing but rating. Already we have calculated that. It will be what? 117.65. So if you find it out the answer for H, then H inertia constant equal to 4.194 now what will be the unit kinetic energy is in mega joule so it will be mega joule 
and here G will be in MVA. So it is in megajoule per MVA. So this is the answer for H. H is nothing but inertia constant. And the next thing that we have to determine here is nothing but moment of inertia or angular momentum M. The formula for this is nothing but G H upon pi F. So already we have determined this value. G will be 117.65 into H now already we have find it out. It is 4.194 divided by pi into F. Now when you write this formula, please keep in mind you have to keep uh, the, the calculator in the radian mode and find out the answer. So if you keep it in the radian mode, you will get answer 3.1412. Answer will be mega joule second per electrical rad. And if you wish to find it out your answer, uh, instead of radian, it, if you want to have answer in a degree, then formula will be what? GH upon instead of uh, pi, it will be 180F. GH upon 180F. So I can write 117.65 into 4.194 whole divided by 180 into F. F is the 50. So if you calculate this, you will get answer as 0 0.0548. Unit for uh, this particular uh, term M here is nothing but mega joule second per electrical degree. This is very easy problem which is based on swing equation wherein we have to find it out value of inertia constant H and uh, moment of inertia or angular momentum M. Thank you for watching this video.